Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe below so we can expand our Squatch search with your Report help. Number 25265, Class Alpha. Year 2008. Location details 3 miles west of Flaming Gorge Dam in Utah. Nearest town, Vernal. Nearest road, Highway 44. Observed. While I was driving down the road late at night, headed back to work in Vernal, Utah. I was driving over the Flaming Gorge Pass. I was somewhere between one to three miles before the dam turnoff. When I was driving, I saw some eyeballs about six and a half to seven feet in the air. So I locked up my brakes, backed up to and faced my headlights at it, and I saw it. My first thought was a bear that was standing on its hind legs. But then I noticed it was not a bear. By that time, he turned around and slowly started walking away from me. It had very long, black, matted hair, and I know for a fact it wasn't a bear, by the way it walked. It scared me so bad, I got out of there, and I did not care to go back and look. So the next few times going back through, been watching every track to see if I could find them, but no luck. But I know one thing, he was not scared of me nor my loud diesel motor. Also noticed, he was not scared by my truck. It slowly walked away. Other stories, no. Time and conditions, 10 p.m., bright night. Environment, snow pine forest. Follow-up investigation report by BFRO investigator Todd Strong. I interviewed the witness on the telephone. He was driving home to Vernal from Manila. He traveled this route several times a week. He first noticed the eyes reflecting in his headlights. When he first saw the animal, he thought it might be a black bear, so he stopped the pickup truck, backed up, and positioned the vehicle's headlights to shine on the animal. It was standing in the trees five feet off the road. The witness was surprised at how calm the animal stayed, even with a noisy diesel, stopping and backing up. He was impressed with how much ground the animal could cover as he watched it turn and take ten steps before disappearing into the trees. He saw that it had long, black, and gray hair that was very matted and wet from the snow. No details of the face were seen. The witness was believable and familiar with the area. He has lived in the area his whole life and has hunted and fished a great deal, very familiar with the outdoors. This was his first sighting, but several members of his family were loggers in the Uintas, which border Flaming Gorge, and always told of seeing and hearing. Report number 7421, Class Alpha. Submitted by witness on Thursday, November 20th, 2003. Classic sighting on Wooded Main Road. Year of Encounter, 1998. Season, Summer. Month, July. Date, 3rd. State, Maine. County, Oxford County. Nearest town, Wilson's Mills, Maine. Nearest road, Route 16. Observed. My boyfriend and two sons, age 5 and 10, were camping in Upton, Maine. On July 3, 1998, we took a ride into Parmacini Lake. The road to get there is off Route 16 in Wilson's Mills, Maine. We drove around most of the day, stopped for a cookout on someone's lot, and then headed out in the early afternoon. It was before 4 p.m. We were riding in a truck, my friend driving and the two boys in the middle, and I was on the passenger side. We came out of what I would call a wooded area at the top of a small hill. The hill rounded a small corner and then straightened out at the bottom. The entire area on the right side was an open area at the bottom. The left side was wooded. There were no vehicles around there or anywhere for that matter. Just as we rounded, we could see at the very bottom of the slight downgrade, approximately 
one hundred to a hundred and fifty yards, we both saw it at the same time. He looked at me immediately and said, What did you just see? I looked at him and without even thinking and said, Saskatchewan! What we saw was something unimaginable. The creature was standing on two legs, was very tall, approximately seven feet, skinny, and was totally covered with long brown fur. What was amazing was this creature never even acknowledged that we were coming towards him in the truck. Although we were not close enough to hit it, it never acknowledged it. The other amazing thing was that its strides were huge. It took it probably three strides to cross the dirt road, which was wide enough for two vehicles. Its gait was very stoic. We got down to the bottom within seconds. We slowed right down almost to a stop and looked into the woods. There was nothing in there. My boyfriend wanted to stop, but I wouldn't let him because of the children. We also stopped discussing it at the time in fear of scaring the kids. There were no tracks on the ground. We intended to return the next day to see if we could track anything, but it rained really hard that night, so we figured any tracks were gone. I told this story to very few people because I know it's hard to believe. I did tell one of the foresters that worked where I did. This road we went on is gated and I was able to get a key from my employer. This is why I mentioned it to the forester. I was hoping maybe he had heard similar stories. The creature was on Bose Buck Mountain and headed towards Aziscohos Lake. Also in the area was an old gate near mile marker number 12. Also noticed, just the fact that this creature was walking and proceeded to cross the dirt road without acknowledging anything, just straight large strides, and then it was gone. Other witnesses, two adults, driving through the area and heading back to camp. Other stories, no. Time and conditions, 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. It was a beautiful, clear summer day with a slight breeze. Environment, open hard, hardwood forest, mile marker number 12, an old gate. Follow-up investigation report by BFRO investigator Bill D. This is a classic Sasquatch sighting and is representative of the majority of sightings made all across the country, including northern New England. Although many reports of this type will mention the animal taking a quick look in the direction of the witness, the lack of reaction to the approaching vehicle is not atypical behavior for an animal wishing to be non-confrontational. The avoidance of eye contact and rapid stride out of view is the most typical Sasquatch response to a human witness. Report number 56061, Class Alpha submitted by witness on Saturday, December 3, 2016. Nighttime sighting by a husband and wife driving near Rockmart. Year 2016. Season, winter, month, December, date, 3rd, state, Georgia, county, Harrelson County. Location details, one and a half mile up Vincent Mountain Road, after turning off Highway 120, left side of road across from a church. Nearest road, Highway 120 and Vincent Mountain Road. Observed. On our way home to Rockmart, Georgia from Birmingham, Alabama, we were following the directions the GPS gave for the distance. This brought us to Highway 120 and Vincent Mountain Road. We had just made that turn and gone a mile and a half when my husband and myself saw a large figure standing in the tree line. There was illumination coming from the right side of the road from an additional light source other than our car headlights. This enabled us to clearly see this figure that was on the left side of the road with one arm straight down and the other arm slightly moving. 
I believe that arm movement is what caught our attention, making us both look to our left clearly, allowing us both to view this creature. It was covered in reddish brown fur from head to toe with a face I can only describe as ape-like. It appeared to be over seven feet tall. He, she seemed to be getting ready to cross the road. After about 15 seconds passed, he and I both screamed out, Did you just see what I saw? I have never been a big believer in the legend of Bigfoot, but I know what I saw tonight, and I am floored. I have never written to any site such as this about anything in my life, and I certainly didn't think I would start at 56 years old. Thank you for your time. Also noticed, nothing else I can think of, other witnesses too, myself and my husband. Time and conditions, 10.30 approximately, and it was drizzling after we have been without significant rainfall in over 30 days. We are in extreme drought. Environment, forest. There was a small store right at the intersection, and the, sh the short way down to where we saw this creature is also a church. I think the floodlight from the church was where the backup backlight came allowing us to see the creature. Follow-up investigation report by BFRO investigator David Bacara. I spoke with both witnesses and they both seemed level-headed and still excited about what they had seen that night. It was approximately 10.30 p.m. when both witnesses and their 20-year-old daughter sleeping in the back seat were headed home to Rock Mart, Georgia from Birmingham, Alabama on the night of December 3, 2016. It was raining a light drizzle, which was a welcome change as Georgia is in the midst of a statewide drought. It was the first sign of any precipitation in two months. After turning onto Vincent Mountain Road and traveling approximately one and a half miles, the wife noticed a slight movement on the left side of the road. It was approximately 50 feet ahead, and the car was traveling at 45 miles per hour. It was slightly illuminated from the parking lot's lights from a church directly across the street. The witnesses stated if it wasn't for the slight movement it made, they may not have seen it. It was described as standing between two trees, approximately 15 feet from the car, 7 to 8 feet tall, covered in red, orangish brown hair, with a face of a mix between a man and a gorilla. The witnesses stated they believed the movement that drew their attention was that of its left arm. They watched it for a total of about six seconds. The wife stated it acted like it was about to step out and cross the road. The creature watched the couple go by as they observed it. As they passed it, the wife was able to look back through the rear glass as it was still in the church lights. It wasn't until they had drove down the road about another mile that the husband asked if she had seen anything back there. They both agreed immediately they had just seen a Bigfoot. These witnesses stated that they can't imagine it was anything else as it was too tall to be a person in costume. Report number 57884 Class Alpha submitted by witness on Saturday, July 15, 2017. Nighttime Road Crossing Outside Parish Year 2017 Season Summer Month July t Date 10th State Florida County Manatee County Location Details Wooded to the right side of the road where it exited the highway Nearest Town Parish Nearest road, Highway 62. Observed. 
Monday, July 10th, 2017, 515 AM, while driving home from an all-night fishing trip at Tampa Bay, we were about two miles outside of Parrish, Florida. There was a car ahead of us, and we were about ten car lengths behind. This creature waited for the car ahead of us to pass and ran across between our two cars. It was running upright on two legs. It was huge and fast. It didn't have the shoulder motion that a human has when they run Manatee Sheriff contacted. Also noticed, the shoulders didn't swing or move when it ran very short or no neck, only seen the feet hit twice and it was in the grass and gone. Other witnesses, two saw it, three smelled it, but four in our vehicle. Granddaughter was asleep. Other stories talked to the Manatee Sheriff and they said there are reports from time to time. <clears throat> we live in a neighboring county. We are not familiar with that area. Time and conditions, 515 AM, Environment Woods. Follow-up investigation report by BFRO investigator R. Monteith. On the early morning of July 10th, before sunrise, the family, mom, dad, adult son, and granddaughter, were driving eastbound on Highway 62 after a night of fishing on Tampa Bay. They were outside Parrish when a large bipedal figure crossed the road about 10 car lengths ahead of them, left to right. They were able to see the figure in the taillights of the car in front of them and their own headlights. The car immediately was filled with a horrible smell. The mom and dad in the front seat saw the figure. The passengers in the back did not, however, they did smell the odor. The car was traveling at about 70 miles per hour and both witnesses claim it showed intelligence as it waited for the first car to pass and quickly crossed the road in two big steps. There were no street lights. The Bigfoot was dark in color, running stiffly without any arm swing in the car's high beam lights. The dad said it had been had very long legs. Both witnesses spoke over each other, describing odor as a strange mix of polecat musky, swamp water, and sulfur. On the morning of the crossing, the mom called the Manatee County Sheriff's Office to report it and spoke to a deputy who admitted they have calls like this from time to time in that area. BFRO investigator, investigator David Bacara and myself, as well as other Florida investigators, have spoken to the couple about this incident. The mom and dad are both still very disturbed and overwhelmed about what they saw and are still trying to come to terms with the event almost a year later. The area is remote with ranches and farms spread far apart, just north of Mayaka River State Park. BFRO David Bacara assisted in this investigation animals. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe below so we can expand our Squatch search with your help. If you do have an encounter to tell, send to SoCal Sasquatch Organization at gmail.com. We now have SCSO Keep On Squatching t-shirts available. See link in description below. Join the community and show it off wherever you go.